Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to the uh, quick sum up of the Jakarta program plan for 2023. Uh, today, I'm here with, well, why don't you introduce yourself? Sure. Uh, my name is Will Lyons, and uh, I am the, I work for Oracle, and I am the chair of the Jakarta Steering Committee. And uh, my name, just in case, uh, is Tanya Bradovich, and I work as Jakarta Program Manager at the um, uh, Eclipse Foundation. So without further ado, we are going to talk about uh, 2023 program plan. And uh, uh, let's just uh, see what this program plan is all about. Uh, so the chair of the working um uh, the steering committee of the working group will help us uh, figure it out. Thank you, Tom. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Will Lyons again. And um, the Jakarta Working Group um, is a, a group of, of companies and individuals and organizations that come together under a structure defined by the Eclipse Foundation to collaborate, uh, to build a community that delivers Jakarta E specifications and technologies. Um, the working group is funded uh, by contributions from members of the working group. And on an annual basis, we put together a plan for the coming year. So we thought it might be useful just to give an overview of what the working group's plan is for this coming year. Um, and the plan is really embodied in our strategic goals, as indicated on this slide. So first and foremost, we want to deliver future Jakarta, future Jakarta specification releases. So um, we have recently released Jakarta EE10, which is the most current release of the Jakarta EE platform. And that includes um, three different profiles and many individual component API specifications. Um, our major focus for this year is working on the next Jakarta EE release, which is Jakarta, Jakarta EE 11. Um, and our goal for the year is to put a plan in place and begin implementing that plan with a goal of delivering Jakarta EE 11 um, early next year. So we're making progress on that and uh, we're really hopeful about the success of that release. A second overall goal is to increase brand awareness and adoption of Jakarta EE. Uh, the working group has a marketing committee, which um, you know, encourages members and contributors uh, and individuals to contribute to the promotion of Jakarta EE, and that takes several forms. Um, we conduct regular, what we call live stream events, uh, you know, uh, web online events, which users can participate in on a variety of, in a variety of languages. We, um, we host tech topics discussions. Um, we're sponsoring events like a track at Dev Nexus coming up in April. Um, next and week, next week. Next week, um, we uh, uh, help me out here, Tanya. What I'm, I'm missing? Oh, we've we've uh, just launched the Jakarta Developer Survey to uh, recruit uh, and you know feedback on you know what our plan should be. So there's a number of activities that are underway that are funded and staffed and uh, delivered by the working group. We also have the uh, community newsletters. It just uh, newsletter. It just came out. Uh, um, uh, one that is actually dedicated to uh, Jakarta E. We're working on um, updating uh, many of the um, documents we have out there and uh, producing them or translating them to different languages as well. Uh, promoting any individual that is participating in the development of the specifications and uh, the uh, um, uh, related projects or implementations and uh, so on. So, um, yeah, uh, if anyone is interested, uh, please uh, get in touch and help us out. Another area of focus for us is to grow the contributor and committer community. 
and contributor and committer are words for people who uh, contribute to the development of specifications or editing documents or uh, contribute presentations and you know any of a variety of ways people can contribute to the effort of to delivering Jacardi uh, technologies. Uh, and we've got a number of activities underway there. We're encouraging uh, Java user groups to uh, take ownership of specifications. We're um, recognizing that uh, many uh, participants use languages other than English. So we're uh, translating some of uh, our documents, which help contributors and committers to contribute to Jakarta EE to help learn about how they would go about doing that and making it easier for them. Um, and we're tracking, you know, the number, the numbers involved here, the number of members who are active and contributing and attempting to grow that number so we can grow our bandwidth and capacity to deliver new technologies. Uh, the fourth area is provide integrations as required with microprofiles. So microprofile is uh, a set of standards defined by the microprofile working group. Um, so it's a closely related working group and closely related technologies that are actually uh, built on top of and leverage certain Jakarta EE APIs. And more recently in Jakarta EE 10, the microprofile standard specifically leverage the Jakarta EE 10 core profile. So we think it's important that Jakarta EE satisfy the needs of microprofile. And we want to make that, we first we want the community to be aware that we're working together and we want to encourage the development of APIs and technologies which MicroProfile can leverage. Another area of focus is aligning Jakarta EE with future developer needs. So really what this is all about is reaching out to community members to get community member feedback, especially from developers around what they would like to see in Jakarta EE. Um, so some activities there are we've uh, been requesting and encouraging community feedback on the Jakarta EE 11 project and specific specifications that are involved there. So the next goal is aligning Jakarta EE with future developer needs. So the, the intent of this goal is to reach out to the developer community and get developer feedback on what they would like to see in Jakarta EE as it moves forward. So some examples of what we're doing there are, first, uh, we've reached out to the community you know, with some early descriptions of Jakarta EE 11 plans to recruit feedback specifically on those plans. Uh, we have a plan in place to collaborate with OmniFish on uh, doing a technical survey uh, of the developer community uh, for input into future EE development. Um, we're also conducting the Jakarta EE developer survey, which ultimately is another source of requirements for uh, many of our feedback. So there's a, a variety of activities that are we're undertaking to support this goal. And the final goal is to grow the number of working group members. So there's 29 different you know, companies, organizations, entities, including other, you know, including JUGS, including other open source foundations that are members of the Jakarta Working Group. And on an ongoing basis, we're trying to recruit and obtain more members uh, in the hope of growing the community, growing the number of participants to help make the overall initiative successful. So those are some of the things that we're working on in 2023. Um, Q1 is coming to a close tomorrow and we're making progress against all of these and we will continually be tracking our progress throughout the year. Um, so that's my high level summary for today, Tanya. Uh, any comments from you? 
Well, thank you for the summary. I hope the community will uh, appreciate and we will invite them to get in touch and let us know what they think, is that, if this is helpful uh, and uh, how else we can uh, um, uh, provide the uh, um, invitation. Like this is this is a summary and invitation to uh, get involved on the, on the individual level. And then uh, uh, also, uh, if your organization is interested, please get in touch and we'll be uh, happy to talk to you. So uh, that's all for now. All right, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.